Today we present a unique concept, an H1016 Tiger Explorer. We have a 36 mm case fitted with a brass ring on the inner bezel, which allows me to install an old stock vintage crystal. It gives the crystal some height and adds depth to the dial. And the brass somewhat matches the age golden configuration of the hands and numerals. The dial has the golden flyer treatment with wide Mercedes style hands and that flower tip seconds hand. I wanted a very natural yet vintage appearance for this watch and I'm really pleased with the result. The Distress case is a perfect size at 36 millimeters and more than suitable for those of us who prefer smaller case sizes. It's a watch that pairs well with a NATO strap or sits elegantly on a steel bracelet. But whichever you prefer, this aged beauty is a type of watch I enjoy putting together. Powering this watch, we have an NH35 automatic movement. It's the first time I've experimented with this movement in the smaller case sizes. It's one of the designs I've enjoyed working on the last few weeks and several of these variations that I've put together. And for those who prefer the modern touches, I did produce one with a sapphire crystal on top. Currently I've been working on a vintage California. The watch is almost finished, and it's been a while since I've worked on the larger case sizes with the 6497 movement. And for a watch that didn't last long in the shop, we have a Chronotac Seamatic Diver. I installed a faded and almost champagne colored metallic insert. The dial is only lightly aged with baked brown hour markers with matching hands. I have this on the steel bracelet with tank track style links, which I really like. And here we see the aged state wheel, which is a fine detail to add in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope folks continue to enjoy these watches. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.